At long last, the wait is over. A warm welcome to Wembley. This is Derek Ray, joined in the commentary box by Stuart Robson, and we're approaching kickoff time in what promises to be a spectacular FA Cup final. It is Manchester City taking on Manchester United. Well, Derek, as a youngster growing up, this was the day that every young footballer dreamt of. Playing in the FA Cup final, walking out in front of the 100,000 fans at Wembley, broadcast around the world, it still brings a tingle to my spine. And I'm really looking forward to this one. Well, it's always a great thrill to watch Erling Haaland in action. He can be absolutely unstoppable, and we should expect that he'll have a prominent role to play in this one, Stuart. Well, in many ways, he's a throwback to the 80s in the way he plays. He's so strong when holding up the play, he can outmuscle opponents. Today, the defenders will certainly know they've been in a battle. Introducing the starting players for Manchester City. Ederson is the goalkeeper. Rodri plays with Kevin De Bruyne in the centre of the pitch. And providing the main goal-scoring threat today is Erling Haaland. And here's the lineup for Manchester United. Harry Maguire plays alongside Raphael Varane in central defence. And rather than use a strike partnership, they've gone with just the one player in attack. And this confrontation is underway. Bernardo Silva. Guardiol. Silva. Hold on! And fine goalkeeping. Kevin De Bruyne with the corner. Pretty straightforward for the keeper. De Bruyne. Phil Foden. Well, the fans want to see a shot. And Varane foiling them. <laughs> Going short. And Bernardo Silva has it. Crucial block from Baran. Possession seeded by City here. Well, not every keeper would have been that brave. Well, he read it brilliantly, didn't he? Top stuff from the keeper. Well, that's really strong play to keep hold of the ball. Erling Haaland and the ball back with United Casemiro Bruno Fernandes has it. Now Casemiro. Making progress. Just couldn't get it through. 
Gvardiol. De Bruyne now. Holland. This could be troublesome. He's in position. Well, what a glorious chance to grab the first goal of the contest. Well, you have to say that's a wasted opportunity to get their noses in front here. Golden opportunity. That's useful play. De Bruyne. On to Holland. That's a good looking pass. Surely. Oh, dealt with by the goalkeeper. And short it is. Laid into the centre. It wasn't quite as good as it looked when it left the boot. Casemiro. Effective challenge. And Bernardo Silva has it. And that's sound um, goalkeeping to hang on to the shot like that. Bruno Fernandes has it. Passing it around, looking for the goal that would put them ahead. United might be able to cash in. That didn't go as a plan in the end. Foden. Foden. Return to Walker. Great opportunity. And it went sailing over the crossbar. Not a moment he'll want to remember. Well, there you have it, right on cue with the stats, and it tells you everything you need to know. They've been so poor in front of goal, and no wonder the manager's agitated. They should be comfortably ahead in this. Well, let's find out if they can improve their finishing here. And it's a quality pass. And still looking to get the shot off. Bernardo Silva get themselves in front here vital intervention the cross is on Bernardo Silva can they forge ahead couldn't quite hang on not too fussy in clearing his lines Bruno Fernandes and there it breaks down, but credit to the defence. De Bruyne. Cuts it back. Casemiro. It is a decent looking attack here. Can he make it count? Holland counter-attacking very much an option dangerous looking through ball and the keeper more than equal to it well Pep's getting the message across here just keep pushing on and the goal will come Who's going to get on the end of it? And clearing us away. Rodri. Now the cutback. 
Will it lead to the goal that puts them ahead? Oh, there's the goal that gives City the lead in the final. Will it prove to be decisive? Well, I think that shows what a good rapport he has with the players. Well, the replay shows us what a good final pass this is from Foden. He just keeps his composure and finds his teammate. And Haaland wasn't going to miss that one. From that sort of range, he was always going to score. What a well-constructed goal. Well, he's not happy, of course, but Ten Hag needs to make some big calls here, get his side back into the game. we have it we're at the halfway mark now here at Wembley Back underway then, and work to do for United, given the scoreline. Bernardo Silva. Gvardiol. Akanji has it. Rodri. Phil Foden. Walker now. Now the attack fizzled out. Teammates available. Now disappointing end to the move. Bernardo Silva. On to Holland. Rodri. And Manchester City moving the ball with purpose. Well, that's how to keep the opposition at bay. And the counter-attack is on. Options available. And a foul in the opinion of the referee. Now, what can they do from this free-kick situation? Substitution then, let's see how it affects the match. Oh well, you can't get them right every time, and he got that one very wrong. Yeah, it's a poor free kick, I have to say. What was he thinking? He was never going to score from there. Well, as the stats show us, United have lacked a cutting edge today, but they're still in this one. They just need to play with a bit more urgency. Bernardo Silva. De Bruyne now. And all doing their bit to keep them out. Take some progress with the ball at his feet, but quick thinking defensively. Now counter-attacking possibilities. All hands on deck. But well to clear it away. Now a decent position. A gift for any goalkeeper. Could be doing a fine job of protecting the ball. And City with the ball again. That's a good ball. Bernardo Silva. Oh, he's blocked it. And that'll be offside. A change in the offing for City.
for Nance. Is it going to be? Oh, he couldn't outwit the keeper. Well, Ten Hag knows it, doesn't he? That was the opportunity to draw level there. Now, how about the short corner? Manchester United keep the ball. Advantage. Bruno Fernandes. Can they get in behind them? And into the last 20 minutes. Promising looking ball. Grealish. And it might be. And a fine stop. Well, he knows that would have won the game. So frustrating for him. Now, how about the short corner? Foden. Is it going to be? Vigorous defending. Denied again. Well, there's an example of how to press high up. Erling Haaland. Well, in position to make it a brace, but not to be. Well, he's certainly been a threat in this game. He's looked so lively. And time for the change now. Taken short. Pulls it back. Oh, surely! Straightforward piece of goalkeeping. De Bruyne with options. Must score! And the keeper getting across to stop it. Well, United are still hanging on just about, but they're running out of time now. Hopefully that brilliant save might just inspire them. Well, on the back of that breathtaking piece of goalkeeping, can they keep the ball and create? Stones attending to his defensive duties. Gvardiol. Here's Grealish. Well, breaking at pace is always a possibility. Regain possession. It's going to be United's free kick. And time for the change now. Well, with five minutes remaining and just one goal between them, Still, the prospect of late excitement of this match. In it goes! But it will not stand. Offside, Stewart. Well, it looked close, didn't it? He certainly thought so. He's making that clear to the linesman now. Silva De Bruyne now Rodri it's a promising City move Grealish and drawing it back oh an excellent 
excellent save, and they're still alive. Well, that really would have been it. They're still in it here, but they're going to have to be quick. Who can he pick at? And the danger's still on. Can he convert? Not his own teammate stopping him. And a pretty tight offside call by the look of it. Well, he is offside when the ball hits him. But there's not much he can do there. I think the keeper had it covered anyway. Casemiro. Christian Eriksen now. Advantage, Manchester United. And what can they do to stop him running at them? Well, he tried to put everything into the shot, but couldn't find the target. Now following on from the previous incident, he sees yellow now. And it's all over. It is a story of silverware secured. They've done it. They certainly have, and they deserve to do it as well. They were the better team today. They were absolutely excellent. And now it's all about enjoying these very special celebratory moments. Well, just look at the joy on these players' faces. Absolutely incredible. Well, this is special for everybody at the club. What a great moment for any young player. And this is what you dream about when you start playing football. When you're playing in the playground, you want to win a cup. Brilliant moment. It's a special moment in the career of any footballer. And now for the trophy lift itself. The cup winners. Well, you can just see what it means to those players and the manager. That's fantastic stuff. There's always the element of chance in a cup competition. But my goodness, they've taken the rough with the smooth. And now they savour the moment. Four marks to the entire team, and now they get the chance to exhale and enjoy. They've been brilliant in this competition, and so have the fans. They've really got behind their team. They've played a big part in this win. Just look at those faces in the crowd. Great stuff. They're really a match made in heaven between players and fans. And these celebrations are going to continue for quite some time. Now the players get to relax a bit and enjoy having the pictures taken. Well, these photos will be cherished for years to come, won't they? Certainly ones to show the grandchildren.